Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and I'm back again with another cooking video. This is one for the vegans. And today I'm going to be talking about wheat gluten, otherwise known as Satan. 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 For those who don't get that joke, there's a song by Orbital, I think, called Satan. It's spelled with an A. Um, anyway. I thought it was funny. Wheat, wheat gluten is the stuff in bread which gives bread the kind of springy and the stretchiness. And obviously if you're gluten free, this one's not for you. This is amazing stuff, as I will demonstrate. And it's great for making sort of meaty texture in your vegan food. If you want kind of chewy meatiness without having to actually put chewy meat in your food, wheat gluten is the stuff for you. So I'm just going to sprinkle in a bit. As usual, I don't measure things on these videos. If I've made too much, I'll eat more tomorrow. So, the wheat gluten gives you all the stretchiness, but it doesn't give you very much flavour. Put in a bit more. It's better. I can always add more as I go. Or add more water if I've not got enough water. So I'm going to put in a stock cube. And break that up a bit. There we go. I'll be mixing it around as well later on, so that should be okay. And I'm going to make a kind of spicy food tonight. So I've got some Chinese five spice here. I'm going to sprinkle in a bit of that to give it a bit of an interesting taste. I've also got monosodium glutamate, which I got from a Chinese shop. Um, this stuff gets a bit of a bad press. People think it's some terrible poison. I think, um, well, you do get it in a lot of Chinese takeaway foods. I'm not going to put very much in. Um, and I think the fact that a lot of Chinese takeaway food has a lot of oil and a lot of sugar in as well, and salt, as well as monosodium glutamate, is really what's bad for you with eating too much Chinese takeaway food. The monosodium glutamate on its own is not a terrible poison, and it occurs naturally in those kind of munchy things like cheddar cheese and soy sauce as well, so you might well be eating it anyway. It does add a real enhancement to the flavour, that flavour they call umami. So I can recommend trying it, just don't use too much of it. Okay, that's, I think, all the ingredients I need. Right, now is where the magic begins. I've got a kettle full of boiling water here, and I'm going to tip in a bit. I can add some more later, but just start small, mix it around. Not quite enough there. That's about right. But you can see straight away, this has turned into a big rubbery lump, which is what I want. Big rubbery lump. So that is like a stretchy, rubbery, lumpy thing. What I want to do is knead that a bit to um, stretch those um, glutinous chains inside it. And squish it and squeeze it. That is so rubbery. <laughs> That's great. That's what I want. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze that out into a kind of fairly flat shape. And now I'm going to go off and fry that for a bit. So here I'm doing my frying. You can see I'm squishing it down each side. And I've got a reasonable amount of oil here, I'm flipping it over. Squeezing it out, make it reasonably thin. That's looking just about done now. And ready for the next stage. So I'm going to get some kitchen scissors, could use a knife as well, cut it into thin strips. And I can feel it's nice and crunchy on the outside, which is what I want, it's kind of crunchy and chewy and salty. That's what, that's what I want for my food. There we go. So there you are. I'll cut them into smaller bits as well a bit. There we go. And I'm going to add a bit of garlic to this. Just chopped up. Garlic. In you go. 
and yum. I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar. You know what I was saying about the sugary, salty, greasy stuff you get in some Chinese food. Well, I want to kind of create that. Not too much, just a, oop, just a little bit. That'll do. And what I'm going to do when I've finished the rest of my meal, um, when I've finished preparing it, I'm going to give this a little bit of a fry. It's probably got enough oil in there already. And then add it into my stir fry at the last minute and mix it in. I don't want to be boiling this in, in liquid or anything particularly too much. This will be nice and crunchy and salty and tasty. And that, my friends, is Satan or wheat gluten. I guess this is like a kind of crunchy, crispy beef kind of meal, effectively, but no animals are involved at all. So I hope that's given you some ideas on how to make your cooking more interesting and also more vegan. Thanks for watching.